Okay, today we have on the workbench the chassis out of a late 40s GE radio. I really don't even know what the model number of this chassis is right offhand. A friend of mine brought this to me after a friend of his asked him to repair it and he recapped it and replaced a defective volume control in which I gave him a junk radio to get a volume control off of and despite all that he says all it does now is hum which is strange seeing as how he replaced all the capacitors so let's see exactly what he's talking about Let it warm up here. You know, tubes have to warm up for a... Yeah, there it goes. Or at least we have some reception. That's with the volume all the way turned down. That definitely sounds like a defective filter capacitor. Okay, let's turn the chassis up and give the underside of it the once over. Okay, here's the underside of the chassis and as you can see he has recapped this along with replaced a couple of resistors here. And here are the new filter capacitors that he installed. I'm betting that they're probably not connected correctly because if they were I don't think we'd have that hum that we're getting really not too crazy about this right here. I mean that could short. So I may have to do something to insulate that. Usually whenever I replace filter capacitors like this in a chassis I mount them on terminal strips to prevent anything like any short circuits from happening. Okay let me check the wiring of these capacitors and see what's going on here with them. Okay, I think I found the mistake that he made. He has the negative ends of the electrolytic filter capacitors connected straight to the chassis. Now that would be all fine and good if they were using the chassis for B- minus or circuit ground, but that's not the case. This is one of those sets where they have the have the circuit ground and the chassis connected together through a capacitor so technically the chassis is not true circuit ground. However, where I'm touching my meter probe that is circuit ground I believe. So it's just a matter of he hooked these to the wrong place. So I'll have to unsolder these leads here, move them from here to here and see if our performance has improved any. In fact, here's the isolation capacitor right here, if you will. One side of it connects to the chassis itself. The other side of the capacitor connects to B- minus or circuit ground. That's technically what isolates the chassis from being totally hot. Although if your body was in contact with a, something with a return path to ground and you touch the chassis, you could still get lit up. So, uh... This isolation cap is still not a 100% safe method of uh, isolating a chassis. Now, now back to the filter capacitor connection problem. For my hip replacement, it was my hip replacement. Okay, that sounds a lot better, doesn't it? So if you want to see the most ridiculous picture, I got home last night and I took a picture from the regime have the Affordable Care Act ensuring only half the number originally expected. And then the writers... You clean up volume control. And here's the writers... Uh, in Jesus Christ, that you all right when you're in Him! Nothing can separate you from Him! Can't take nothing 
Okay, I'm going to clean the volume control and check the alignment, and we're going to call this one fixed. Caps must be resecured. Okay, there it is. Make sure you put all Let's drugs say it's up done. and out of sight of cleaning strips or trays because my teeth can get a little sensitive. Plus, one head starter and alternator service. Still working hard for you after all these years, and still making every one. Volume control is still a little staticky, but it's better. Y'all really do need to broaden y'all playlist. Okay, our weak station is not really coming in, but business experts does okay on the local stations. Yeah, there you go. Just an example of when you repair something, it's always best to double check your wiring carefully because it's you know, very easy to make a mistake and then your radio or whatever you're working on not work and I've done the same thing before myself sometimes some of my, some of my blunders I resulted in smoke uh, fortunately that wasn't the case with this radio but I think it's ready to go back to the owner alright thanks for watching and more to come later